Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, this is a quick video. I want to show you um, how to start Mosquito or any application uh, using Node Red. Not only start the application, but also to stop the application using using Node Red. And I actually use this technique uh, quite often uh, in in flows. So we can going to be using the exec node, and I've actually covered the exec node before, and I've covered it in a tutorial which I'll put a link to in the video description. So let's have a quick look at the the flow and then we'll see it working. Now we've got some button logic here because I'm using a single button to start and stop the the application or start and stop a uh, mosquito. And what I'm doing is I'm passing into the exec node a command and this is the command here. And you can see it here I'm going to start mosquito with the this configuration file and I'm going to start it as a daemon. If I get rid of the minus D it doesn't start it as a daemon. Now the reason I'm starting it as a daemon is because I, I want it to run in the background and I don't want it to stop when, Mos when uh, Node Red stops. So if I stop no Node Red Mosquito actually keeps running. Now when this starts you'll see uh, an indication here of the processor ID that it's it's been given when it, start when it starts and I capture this in the status node so the status node is configured to capture that, uh, that processor ID and it passes on to a function node which stores it and you can see here it actually adds a 1 to it now if you're not starting it as a daemon you don't need to add the 1 um, I don't know why that's the case but uh, that's, I did notice that when I was doing it that uh, if you don't start as a daemon the processor ID that comes from there is is the one you need. If you do start as a daemon then you need to add one to get the real processor ID. Now we're going to use that processor ID to actually kill the uh, process and we do that down here and you can see the stop there. We pull the um, processor ID from the flow variable, put it in the payload and inject it into the exec uh, node. So let's have a quick look at the exec nodes and there's the command kill we append the message payload and we're going to hide the console and this is the important one the output is when the command is complete exec node now this, this finishes quite quickly and if we look at this one here we're going to spawn because this one doesn't go quite quickly because it actually creates the the running process and again we hide the console in here um, optional one here is the timeout if it doesn't w doesn't work you set a, a timeout so if it hasn't actually um, started then that it times out and gives you an error message I haven't done that on here but you usually set it for about five to ten seconds for the timeout okay so let's give it a, a test now it isn't running at the moment and if I s try and send a message to it it fails now if I go to the the button here yeah, we got the single button to start and stop it so if I start it and I go back to the command line um, this time it does succeed you can't really tell that from here so much but it doesn't give the error message um, if I was to sorry if I was to subscribe to this topic then I should see that uh, message come through now let's stop it again and test it again and again we get the error message so it is actually stopped and if I go back to the flow you should be able to see the processor ID in here that was stored via the status node here so quite a, a useful flow I say I use this technique quite often um, it's usually for starting uh, Python scripts rather than Mosquito it can be used for starting and stopping uh, any application so that's the end of the video uh, I hope you found it useful uh, if you liked it then click on the like button if you've got comments then please leave them below 
and if you want to get notified of new videos uh, then you can always subscribe to the channel until next time bye